Jerry, a disappointing result today. How are you feeling? Well, mixed really, because we've come here unbeaten in the league in three. We've, we've had a win and gone away to some difficult games, you know, away at Chesham and away at Hornchurch, um, and done really well and kept clean sheets. Um, but today, the story of it really is, if you look at it in the whole, we've made, we scored two own goals and we missed a penalty. So, you know, you're not going to give yourself a chance when you make mistakes like that. So, well, when I say the mistake, the one that's come off Kieran is difficult because he's coming in and he's tried to put his head on it, the skid off the top of his head. Um, obviously, Scotty, you know, brave enough to take the penalties and they've obviously done their research. I saw him come across and they've asked and he's gone that way. And he's pulled off a save. So, the own goal by Danny is not a you just can't be accountable for that sort of stuff, you know. I'm not saying it's Danny to blame at all. There's other bits around it. Listen, the boys, the boys give everything they've got every time. The Saturday Tuesdays probably caught up with a small group as well. I thought we looked a bit leggy, certainly first half. We're trying to chop and change. That probably tells you we're trying to chop and change the shape a lot. Before the game, in game, we've changed it two or three times, trying to help the lads out if we can, as much as we can, which is difficult then to take it on board. Um, but then we have a right go at, at the end, you know, we, we look likely to go and get a point. A point here would have been a good point, irrespective of where they are on the league. I don't look at that. And, um, and we haven't been able to come away, but we should because we miss a penalty in the end. Um, should come away with a draw. Um, but disappointing. We need to we need to ensure we get back to trying to keep clean sheets again, being solid. We understand we're not scoring enough goals. We haven't, we haven't got enough fluency yet in the moment doing that. But we go one new up in the game for a really good goal, you know, a third man run from a midfielder. But um, but, but at half-time and then after that, we, we looked a bit loose and the, the goal they get then running off the back of us is not, is not good enough. Gets off the back of us way too easy. And like I said, it's two, it's two own goals and you just can't be accountable for that sort of stuff. Is that a big disappointment for you today? Some of the qualities that we've seen in recent weeks or with the defence in particular went away, I suppose. Well, obviously, yeah. I mean, listen, they don't mean to do it. It's, it's too... It's, like I said, the one with Kieran, we haven't put pressure on the ball. That's the problem. We haven't put pressure on the ball. And it's coming, he's had to try and deal with it. As I said, the other one, there's bits around. I don't just blame Danny. I blame angles of trying to get it off him and people trying to be brave to receive it in tight areas, making the pitch big, all the usual stuff. And it's forced him to play a pass where normally we come out through our keeper and go out the other side, and it's not happened. Whether it's been played too firm, whether the angle is right for him to play back to someone. Um, we don't blame any individuals, it's not about that at all. We're here as a collective, me, the staff, the players. But the effort, the effort from the boys is right there. They're trying as hard as they can. Like I said, I, f I did feel, I did feel we looked a little bit jaded. I did feel we looked a bit leggy. We've been on the road a lot. We've had the cup games as well, where it's taken a lot from us. You know, having to go down to Salisbury and go to, go to Aldershot. And like I said, the away games we had have been really tough and we've got something from it. We've been good enough to do that. The disappointment would be that we've lost to the likes of Enfield. Um, and again, we've come here and lost to the likes of St Albans who are below us in the league as well. So that's something we need to obviously look at. Um, but like I said, there's moments there where, in all honesty, we should have come away with a draw. We haven't had the facts are we haven't. We're realistic with it. But we'll have to we'll have to get back on. This team's still trying to reach some sort of consistency, togetherness. You know, playing the same eleven, all that sort of stuff only happens when you get people fit. I tried to pick the most experienced eleven I possibly could, and we did. But um, we weren't good enough to go and get the point in the end because, because we haven't come away with it. That's the facts. How do you look at this week in a whole, as a whole? I'm sure you would have probably wanted more from it, but what's your assessment on the last three games? Well, it's difficult, Matt, because the boys are giving everything they've got. We're, we're lacking some quality, in all honesty. That's what we're missing. But, but the quality comes from, like I said, the players that are probably missing from the team. It's difficult when you... Elliot Freer and... You and Clark missing from the team as well. Zach, Zach Smith, I spoke about. I know it's pre-season, but and the first game went boring wood. But he added so much. We signed him for a reason. So um, yeah, listen, we, we have to look at it in isolation and say they've given everything we got. We've got to try and help them as much as we can. Um, but we're missing that little bit of magic, I guess, that little bit of creativity in a one v one. But we have had clean sheets and we have had solidity, you rightly say. We haven't had that today. It was a little bit too open for us. Didn't need to be that at all. Um, and we've got to come up with a way. We're getting back to that first and foremost. We've got a tough game on Tuesday against a very good side who are, I believe, just outside the playoffs or maybe just sneaked in now and I don't know. We know how they play. We're going to have to be resolute. We're going to have to be strong. But we've got to be a real threat when we get the ball back as well. And I'm not saying we didn't today. We created some, some good chances. And... Um, yeah, to finish on, we should have come away with a point. We didn't, that's the facts. I think the fans still appreciate it. I'll have to say thank you to them. We brought a support coach again. They all clapped us off at the end. They're all with us. They understand where we are. They know the constraints we're under. It's not an excuse. Um, 
and we need to be better in key areas, of course you do. So those, those goals against, we need to be better. Um, and the first one, like I said, that's, that's not a mistake. It's, it's understanding of someone trying to run off you and making sure we're resolute and hard to play through or play around or play over. And we weren't in that instance. So what we won't do is blame people like Scotty for missing a penalty, Danny for the own goal. It's not, it's not individual stuff. We're collective and I'm the manager and I'll be responsible as well. Of course I will. Um, but we know where we are. We understand it. Like I said, we're really calm. But, um, but Tuesday needs to be a, a full force. Everyone behind us, everyone there. Good crowd. We know we'll get a good crowd. All trying to achieve together. It's no good having little splinter groups off now, whether you're a supporter, whether you're a player. And we haven't got it in-house. They're a really good group. They're honest. They're out on their feet in there. And like I said, unfortunately, we could do with a little bit of a rest, but they got another game. And um, they'll have to recover now and get themselves right for Tuesday night. That'll be your message to supporters, I'm sure. Just as you guys are frustrated, they'll be frustrated as well. I'm sure it's a case of just stick together. No, I thought they were great. Honestly, Matt, I, don't, I didn't sense any negativity with them. They were fantastic. We've been in moments like this over the years where we've had a little bit of a difficult run. They understand totally where we are. Um, like I said, all of them to a, to, a, to a single supporter over there clapped us off and really supportive with us. They're great. Honestly, they've been fantastic all season. They were fantastic last year. Um, and we'll need them on Tuesday night. There's going to be times where we struggle. Of course there is. Like I said, we know where we are as a football club and we'll do all I possibly can now to make sure that we don't end up in a run because coming into it, I'll repeat, we were in a good run in the league. It might seem a little bit... We set expectations really high at the football club because we finished in the playoffs. We're fighting above our weight by doing that. Let's, let's, let's be real about this. So where we are now at the present moment in time is not where we want to be, but we're realistic with it, we're calm with it. and. Um, and we'll soon put some positive results together. Like I said, we come into it three unbeaten in the league. There was cut ones around it. Of course, we were going to Aldershot. But within the league, we were doing OK, fine, without ripping it up. Um, so Tuesday night, like I said, we need everyone behind us. We'll be positive coming into it. Get on the bus now. Boys need to recover really quickly. And um, I'll have a chat with the board and see if we can do anything to bring anyone in. We're trying every single day to do that. It's not as easy as what people think. And you understand that. Everyone understands it. Um, so there's always another game and thankfully we have got one Tuesday. Whether we need it physically or not is, is ir irrelevant really. Um, but we'll turn up and have a right good go on Tuesday, that's for sure at Twerton Park. I'm lucky today, we'll see you on Tuesday. Cheers, thanks man.